Welcome back. Now, our guests tonight are from the Animal Rescue Fund, which is uh, an animal shelter in Muncie. Uh, we've got two people with us tonight. So let's put our hands together for Vicki and Alex from ARF. Hi. Now, pretend I've never heard of ARF. Okay. What would you tell me about it? What's your sales pitch? We are um, Delaware County in East Central Indiana's only no-kill shelter. We um, have helped about 10,000 animals over the years. We've been in existence since 1988. We currently feed about 200 animals a day in between dogs and cats. Wow. And we actually have a couple pigs too. I, I've actually yeah. seen the pigs and I love the pigs. Um, pigs are one of my favorite animals. I don't, I don't think my landlord would go for it. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, now you said how many animals in the entire span? We have um, placed animals over 10,000 10, of them in forever homes. That is crazy, but yeah. Yes, thank you. No. And uh, when I did donate, or not donate, I didn't donate. I <laughs> <laughs> not rented either. I'm I, I adopted uh, yes. our, our new little kitten. Uh -huh. um, they shared it on Facebook, and it got like 200 odd likes of people that I've never, you mm -hmm. know, ever seen before. So I think, would you agree that there is a huge community based around? Our we are it? here because of the volunteers and the community. We are totally self-supported. We're not funded by any kind of um, government, be it city or county, mm -hmm. and we depend. I'm the only full-time employee, and we have about uh, almost 20 part-time employees like Alex here, um, and tons of volunteers, a lot from Ball State, which we are so thankful for. Mm -hmm. We've actually been voted uh, the last four years in a row the um, top place for Ball State to volunteer at. So oh. we have plaques in the office that say cool. that. Yeah. Well, and Alex, you're a volunteer and you're a student. Is that right? Mm -hmm. cool. I started out as a volunteer. Okay. And when did you start? Um, it was the beginning of um, the spring semester. So, okay. or the fall semester, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. But yeah, I volunteered a couple times and it was great. I had a great experience. Everybody was so nice. All the staff members are very willing to answer any questions you have, um, just show you around. Mm -hmm. Well, I assume you're a student. You're probably busy, I would imagine. Mm -hmm. I'm very then, busy. <laughs> yeah, and then adding on volunteering on top of that, mm -hmm. um, I would assume that they're pretty good about working around your schedule. Very uh, flexible, yes. I mean, if anybody's watching and wants to volunteer. More um, than welcome to. Yeah, cool. You guys can always take more. Is that right? Absolutely. We, we always, always need use volunteers. Help. Yeah. Now, are you guys more cat people or dog people? You personally? Or I personally have three of each, so I yeah. guess I'm split down the middle. <laughs> Fair enough. I love dogs yeah. a lot. I feel like, yeah, it's pretty easy to love dogs. Mm -hmm. but I don't know. I like cats very much, too. Yep. Now, we've got I like both. Yeah, three cats at home and two dogs. But yeah, And I guess I'm not the one paying for them or anything like that, but I wish we had way more. But um, yeah, what, are pigs about the craziest thing that you've got in there? We've, um, right now we have two pigs. Um, we have had, we've had llamas, we've had goats, we've had lambs, rabbits, birds, you name it. Um, we, um, we, we do not um, euthanize in any way and we actually have what's called a sanctuary house. We have four buildings within our three anchor campus and one of them is called the Sanctuary House. Okay. And once um, an animal has been surrendered to ARF, they're always an ARF animal, will always take care of them. Mm -hmm. And the sanctuary animals, um, some of them are blind, some have diabetes, seizures, things like that. But yeah. they um, are very well taken care of and they will live out their life there. Well, I think that's really cool that you guys yes. don't just take the, no. the ones that will be easy to give a home no. to. It's ev absolutely everyone. Yes. Um, and I think that's really remarkable. Yes. Um, and yeah, very cool. That we wish we that. could take more. We're always full. Mm -hmm. You know, so we always get the calls. We have a lot of animals that are with fosters, and we have people that will, will take care of, of them until uh, we can make room for them and find a forever home. That's great. 
Well, what is the best way to get involved um, aside from adopting? Um, it would be absolutely volunteering. We, um, we, Ball State is wonderful. We've had a fraternity that has come out and painted the outside of our building. We have food drives. We have, um, we, you can collect your cans and we have um, a recycling center at our ARF that any type of cans that you have collect. We actually get about $1,000 a month um, from the cans and that feeds okay. a lot of, a lot of animals. Yeah. Definitely. I had a thousand dollars a month for food, but <laughs> mm -hmm. one day. Uh, well, great. Do you guys have? I mean, your Facebook page is where you put a lot of stuff. Absolutely. Um, did you want to plug that or the website or yep. anything like that? What's we the best are way to find um, you? at, at MuncieArf.com. You can find us on uh, Twitter, website, anywhere. Just look us up, MuncieArf, and you'll be able to come up with it. Great. Well, uh, I think we should all clap for these people. They're wonderful people. <laughs> Uh, Vicki and Alex from ARF, the Animal Rescue Fund. All right, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for having us.